That's pretty heavy. I've spent three days on board the mothership in the Mindanao Sea. Yesterday, we caught a massive haul of tuna, but not quite enough to fill the fish carrier. So today, we're going to fish again. <laughs> this is tough work, and I covered the three hour process in more detail in the last video. Hi, Dilna. Who's up, guy? Hi, guys. Hi, <laughs> guys, baby. <laughs> this guy's always, always watching out. You need something? Good people. Very, very good people. And now it's time to fill the last two giant ice boxes with fish. <laughs> That's the correct way to do it. Do it so. <laughs> I'm moving to a different boat. To get a different view today. Oh, no. What's the This boat is full, so there's another one coming along in a while. Put the rest in because there's still a lot of fish there. This is, I think, 12 tons of fish. It's a lot. But there was still one more net to come. No space is left unfilled on this boat. My sack of boolad was the easiest thing to load. Did he Oh, oh. Oh, here they lang. Oh, hey, okay, yeah. I got worried for a little bit about that. Trans service. Trans service, no manga to scout there. Trans service. Ah! Hi. Did he bug now? <laughs> and we had to load up three payouts too. leaving the mothership behind for a 12 hour ride with 12 tons of fish. The crew added ice regularly to keep the fish fresh and we finally saw land just before it got dark, arriving in the fish port after 12 hours at sea. Yes. <laughs> it's there, it's there. It's there. What am I doing? Is no, we've got about 12 tons of his <laughs> Who wants to buy 12 tons? But it's got to be in the morning because it's closed already. Okay, Kayo. <laughs> We're parallel parking. The next morning, the action starts before five. I'm happy, today is the last day I've got to wake up at three o'clock in the morning. We're unloading, not this size fish, unfortunately, but this stuff's really cool to see, the massive tuna. The boat beside us is unloading these huge tuna, generally between 30 and 70 kilos each. Go on, man. We have permission to do this. That's pretty heavy. It won't be like a kilo, isn't it? They're separating them into massive, not so massive, and giant. 
mountains are huge, so I found out these guys are probably fishing somewhere off the Sea of Matty in the Pacific. A lot of the big fish is that way now. Where we were fishing doesn't really have the big fish anymore. It's only small fish, but there's still a market for both. General Santos's fish port is one of the largest in the world, with a Guinness World Record for the largest fish display, over 25 tons. Okay, we're ready to go. Not quite the same process, of course, because these fish are tiny. The process is, of course, different for the giant tuna. That must be a special fish, gets a trolley all to itself. Wait, once they finish doing actual work. Each truckload gets taken to market too, which is specifically for small size fish like these. They're then sorted into boxes and weighed. 30 kilos and one box. Four kilos for this crate, 30 kilos in there, but it's 37 gross, that's a 10% allowance. We like a walk into the kilo. Can you come back my canal? So from the small, there's also the large sizes, and these generally come from different areas. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's good. Ah, I am one tag. Weighing the fish is a bit different on this side. <laughs> Oh, big eye good. That won't matter. Morning. Morning. I'm going to take. I'm going to Once weighed, the fish are classified. Let's say, where is the euro? Export quality. Only in class A. I <laughs> 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 Classified nila based sa quality of the meat. But we're gonna leave the fish port now and explore the city which it calls home. That's a horse, not a tuna. There's strawberries, sunflowers, and horses, and also tuna. We're on a hill overlooking Jensan, overlooking the ocean. Just somewhere just outside of the city. Oh, there's Duvian too. Wow. It's a magnificent view. It's right just off the diversion road going towards the airport. Then you come up the hill and they prepare food like this. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks awesome, man. I love food. Slightly different to how they prepared it on the boat. 
That is a plate of South Sour, and that's really... Where do I start so much? Oh, tomatoes, chili, onion. Nah, <laughs> that's too much. The way you can tell tuna's fresh is if it comes apart really easily. So, I mean, just look at how that comes apart. Beautiful. Bit of this. When they were cooking it, they don't put anything on it, they just cook it like that. No preparation, no spices, nothing. Just straight fresh tuna. That's how good it is. And this, wow. Why am I using this to eat with? Maybe dart. White squid. I mean, it was awesome on the boat. Look at that bit of this. The squid here in Gen San is very different, I noticed. It's much more tender. And there's just that little bit of extra flavour, you know? This is what I love. Fresh fish. So simple to prepare. Oh, look at this. It's awesome. Awesome. Oh, nice silly. Who's the guy, silly? It's all names. Last time I went to Abby's. Now, this is Rachel's, and over there is Nathan's. Who's Rachel? Oi! Yep, I'm not doing this very well. Oh, this one's better. Boom! Oi! More foreigners. And the view coming down is just as good. And Nico knew a unique, awesome spot. What's about video, Kita? Okay, Pal's going. Pal's taking off. On this side, you see the cities right over there. I like Jensen. I like it a lot. Go the other way. Please don't, please don't take off from this end. That'll be the most disappointing flight in all of history. Go on, go that way. Yes, you're going that way. I knew that already because the headwind's here, so uh, <laughs> it'd be very dark if I saw him take off the other way, wouldn't it? That's awesome. <laughs> and today we got two flights in quick succession. Mount Matuto only comes out for Cebu Park, not for Pal. Such a cool view. That's a manta. Not as an airport. Sayang, close at Umbalay. You just gotta come down these random back roads sometimes. Oh, hello. Let's wander across town. So, okay. Only eat Bojas, Bojas Avenue though. Oh, okay. So this is for Fiesta, which is coming up soon. I'm always missing Fiestas. This time by, by two weeks. Sarah, <laughs> and Tuna Capital, Tuna Festival, why Tuna? <laughs> <laughs> Different pastille too. Anything else you want. Lemon. It's good. It's all good stuff. Hello. Uh, uh, same on flavour. Charcoal. A charcoal. And then. And then. Ah, Siggy. What do you say? How long do you have? How long do you have? Siggy. Tapila. Dirty. Dirty. So I also didn't eat any more tuna today. I go on ice cream. I'm going to go on tuna. I'm on there. Tuna, Anna. I'm going to go on belly. And ice cream was a that odd idea because I hadn't eaten main course yet. I said, I'm going to go on the ice invasion. I'm going to go on the ice invasion. Carlisle's confectionery shop, but no confectionery today. Fun food. Stuff that's it's also not tuna. What's in tuna? Tuna capital, no like tuna. It's like tuna. Soup is what I need right now, actually. It smells so good. So let's start with my ever favorite, Bula Lu. Bula Lu, who are my eyes? With the chef, who's uh, Jopet. Jopet. Oh. So who's Carlisle? 
Yes. My daughter. Ah, oh, oh, si yeah. Hello, Kalayo. <laughs> I cook this one before since 2016, but it's not for business before. But I start business in 2019. So you're mostly yeah. deliveries, grab food. Yeah, grab food, food panda before. Then I have store before in Season Food Park. But I transfer here to the house first because I will find another places to put my store. I have to say it's good, otherwise he'll throw me out of his house. <laughs> oh wow, 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 wait. That bulleroo's done really well, wow. Oh, good beef. Mm. For boy sabao, <laughs> I'm very, very sabao. Nadaot na. Nadaot na. Come on, Did he come and eat up? Nadaot. Next, okay, so this is. Bakacho. This is your speciality? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, back at Chong. Like Bulka Chong, but with beef. That's creamy. Wow, that's real. I mean, that has real consistency to it, thickness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Boy Sabao is very happy today. It's not tuna, <laughs> but it's very, very good. In the city of tuna, the food is good. <laughs> oh. Cinematics from my new cameraman. <laughs> the, the, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I like this map because it's very southern. Yeah. It's very south. All other maps are very north. You see? <laughs> this is the Eiffel Tower. There's Ireland. The UK. No, they ran, they ran out of wall. Yes, we are here. We're there. This is awesome. This is awesome. I like... If I eat this food, I'm going to put on all the weight I lost again. Oh, wow, 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 win. Fish cooked at home is often the best of all, though. This is Marasugi. We got some tuna before I went on the boat. The other tuna is part of the harvest. So the fish might be small, yes, but there's 12 tons of it that came in on the carrier that I came in on. It's a lot of fish. Pak shu too. It's, it's going to be awesome. And I took some home too. Oh, da, oh, I never forget passing the bong. I need to wash this bag because fresh fish has gone all over it. Mm. I need to power spray all of this. Daddy! Oi! Hi, Lily! You hug Daddy! Oi! Hug Daddy! Hug Daddy, but Teddy's <laughs> being somewhat. Hey? Hug Daddy! Hey! Mm. I love you. And I. Oh, who sits? Who sits? Where's Coca Ione? Can you go on, Mungood? Gani, oh, so it's a good boy. No, but you is a sim. Is it a lanka samana? Sim, oh. Kadako, say, oh, Kadako, no. Mauna Katunga lang. Katunga lang, no? Oh, oh. Ravi. Mauguz, no, go on. Oh, Kanda. Thank you, Sakwano, Tagadinson. I'm disturbing you. I got bullets for you. You'll enjoy the bullet. I'm doomed. So, what is it? I don't know, it's got bullets. I'm still a fish. A lily might it, buddy. Lily. You want to try bullets? No. Yes, so here. 